Okay, so now you got your top down and it starts to rain, or in this case, it starts getting blistering hot because we're in Florida. And as you can tell, it is, uh, <laughs> it is getting quite toasty out here. So I'm actually in a hurry to get this thing done so I can get back in the AC. So I'm gonna go basically everything you just saw, we're gonna go in reverse. I'll make a couple of notes along the way and we'll get this thing done very quickly. Start your timers. We're gonna go up with the, with the roof first. Now I've noticed since I'm, you know, I'm six feet tall, which I think is, comes in handy with this, I can actually make the other one fasten in at the same time. So basically I've got both of these fastened already, the one over there and the one over here. You can do it if you can see over the Jeep, it's pretty easy if you can't, uh, sucks for you. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up. If you go nice and slowly, by the way, if you just let this thing slam down, there's a chance that these buckles here are gonna get trapped in here. But if you just go nice and slow, let it just fall right down, it's all good. Another point I wanna make, that sometimes I just wanna put my, sometimes I just wanna put the top up to keep the sun off of it, and I don't even fasten the buckles. But, I, but I, if I do that, I always leave a visor down, and that reminds me that the buckles are not fastened. And so when I get in, I know that they're not fastened. Also, I'll tell you that I've forgotten still to fasten the buckles at least 10 times and it doesn't hurt anything because what happens when you start driving, get up to about 30 miles an hour, you'll start hearing it whistle and it'll remind you to close the buckles and I've never had any bad experience from that. So that's my system. So we're going to go ahead. Get this corner down. We're going to go ahead and get our window out. And of course, we know that this one's on top is the one we took out over here. So we're going to go ahead and put it in. Hey. Um, another thing I want to show you too that that the Jeep, my Jeep dealership at least, which is a great dealership, I don't want to throw them under the bus, but they told me that I was not supposed to do this, but it seems to me that I am supposed to do this. There's a rigid piece right here. They had it just tucked in like this. I believe that it's supposed to go in this groove right here because it's nice and tight that way. Go ahead and put this under. And then you just simply pull this down and you can get pretty rough with these things too. They're, they're, they're extremely durable, but that side's done. You can see how easy that was. We can go ahead and pull the, pull the corner piece down. So we're done with that side already. Then we grab this one. We're going to do the same thing. Again, if you go in the right order, you know which windows you have. It's not difficult to figure out, but it's much easier if you know exactly which ones you have. Zippers are nice and durable. YKK zippers, which is my favorite zipper brand in the whole wide world. Um, another little thing for you, if you ever make anything, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, you're a tinkerer, you like to make things and it has a zipper on it, get the best zipper you can possibly get because a zipper can ruin your life. I'm telling you, don't, don't even get me started on zippers. So anyway, we're gonna tuck this one in again, just like we did over there for the nice tight finish right here. The wind cannot pull that out now. We're gonna go ahead and tuck this in. Put the corner piece in. Isn't that easy? I mean, it's ridiculous. We're gonna undo this, undo this, bring it down. This just simply just goes in. It's, it almost goes in by itself, it's so easy. And you make sure these rubber pieces are lined up right here. And that's how you know you've got it in the exact right spot. It's pretty obvious, but I wanted to point it out. Go ahead and clip these in. Did I mention how hot it is getting right now? And we're gonna zip it down, zip it down. I'm gonna pull my mat back, close it up, close it up. Bam, that's it, that's it. And of course I haven't buckled it yet, but I know I haven't buckled it because my visors are down. I don't leave my visors down. I'm not like a, some kind of visor freak that just goes around leaving his visor down. If I get in the Jeep and the visors are down, it tells me that either my kids have been playing in there or my top needs to be buckled. In this case, the latter. I hope that helps you guys out. This is another, again, this is a 2016 Jeep Wrangler. I think this applies for a lot of Jeeps, but I don't know that for sure. This is a brand new one, anniversary model. 
and I love it. I love it. I'm telling you.